assalamu alaikum hello my dear friends and respected teacher i am welcoming you here in learning in the institute of english language as you all are well aware that i am here to deliver a speech a speech about 23rd march the resolution day so the question which occurs is what is the resolution day why this day is so important for us why do we celebrate this day every year what is the importance of this day and the actual background behind this day so to know the answer of this question we need to go back to the history so without wasting any time let's get started by taking the name of allah the most merciful and the beneficial so the year is 1857 the war of independence is going on in the subcontinent muslims hindus and many other nations they are fighting they are fighting against the british empire they are fighting for the freedom they are fighting for their lives they are fighting for the future there are many great rebellions standing against the british forces but after all these rebellions fights wars struggles nothing is happening in fact the east india company is getting stronger and powerful day by day so a man who was observing all this situation he came forward with an idea an idea which is going to change the future of the people of the subcontinent he addressed the people that the way they had chosen for the to get the independence is not the wise way the need, the thing which needs to be done is to get the education because he thinks that without education they can't fight them they can't fight them by just by guns and powder they have to be educated to fight them lawfully to fight politically so he encouraged them for the education and he makes and he took the he took all the situation in his own hands he make many schools colleges and universities for the students but he also knows that just by encouraging them won't do any good so he make many educated men is far more powerful and affected and effective than the is far more powerful and effective than thousands of armed men so he make many schools colleges for the people of the subcontinent and one of the college and one of the university still exist in on this earth which is known as now the aligarh university which is in india now my dear friend and respected teacher i think you all guess who is the man i am talking about the man was sir sayed ahmed khan may god bless his soul we are thankful to him not because he encourages us towards for education we are thankful to him because he gave us something that we are in a literal need at that time he gave us the concept he gave us the idea he gave us the theory he gave us two nation theory which is going to change the future of the people of subcontinent it gave us hope it gave us a motive it is a motive of the muslim league who were fighting at the time the two nation theory becomes the main reason for the resolution of pakistan it is like even if the britishers leave the subcontinent hindus and muslim can't live with peace together they will make the place they will make the subcontinent a hell so two nation theory was for that but the problem is the theory is only about the separation of a nation a separate nation a separate state it is not about what provinces should be given to the muslim first time it was politically discussed in the round table conference of 1930 which held in england under the supervision of the king george many muslim leaders were there leaders like sir aga khan the third ak fazlul haq sir zafarullah khan molana muhammad ali johor qaid e azam muhammad ali jinnah and they are supporting their idea of a separate nation they were also leader of congress like mahatma gandhi and jawahar lal nehru representing their idea of united india begum jahara shanawaz was also there representing the women of the subcontinent so first first time it was discussed in that conference so after these conferences muslim leaders they sacrifice their lives they struggle a lot for the not only for the freedom but also for the separation they put every effort which is possible so after many struggles on the day 23rd march 1940 under the leadership of qaid e azam mohammad ali jinnah qaid e azam was leading muslim league at that time because it was a dream of alama iqbal and he believed that qaid e azam mohammad ali jinnah was the only capable man among the muslim at that time who can who has that leadership quality so under his supervision under his supervision muslim league passed a rep- rep- resolution which was represented by ak fazlul haq and this 
resolution become the one of the best and one of the famous stepping stone for the independence of our country that day all the muslims gathered at minto park in lahore and it was the first time that huge crowd of muslims gathered together because before them they were like separate and their so and their thinking is separate so this was the first time and the leaders they were giving some great and powerful speeches they were encouraging the people they were addressing the audience and make and they are boosting their confidence and the people they were like crazy out there and it was a environment of great enthusiasm so i i'm sure that after my all after all my word you my dear friend respected teacher and the ones who are watching me through that video came to know the actual value and actual background of that day so today we are celebrating here the 23rd march the resolution day so in this moment of celebration let's not forget those legends let's not forget those heroes those true believers who sacrifice their all lives for the making of this country so keep up the celebration because this is not an ordinary day this is the day of pakistan thank you so much for giving me your precious time thank you so much allah हम का बाबत सही तगई